Welcome to Easy Microbiology. Good morning, everyone. Today, we will be discussing Acinetobacter, a genus of gram-negative bacteria. We will be exploring its habitat, morphological characteristics, cultural and biochemical characteristics, host range, virulence factors, mechanisms of antibiotic resistance and epidemiology. Please stay with us and follow the presentation. Let's get started. Acinetobacter is an important genus of bacteria found in various environments such as soil, water, and most commonly in hospital settings. It is an opportunistic pathogen which can cause disease in individuals with weakened immune systems or underlying medical conditions. Consequently, it is essential to be aware of Acinetobacter and the risks it may present. Acinetobacter is a genus of bacteria which can be found in numerous living environments, both indoors and outdoors. Research has demonstrated its extraordinary capability to exist in harsh conditions and stay on surfaces for extended periods of time. Because of this, it is a regular cause of infection, particularly in medical establishments. Despite their widespread presence, Acinetobacter can be tricky to cure as it often creates immunity to antibiotics. Hence, it is significant to take precautionary steps to reduce the diffusion of this particular microorganism. Acinetobacter is a rod-shaped bacterium usually existing as single cells or in pairs. Not only it is non-modal, but its cell wall is constructed of lipopolysaccharides, which help it to cause infections. This special set of characteristics makes Acinetobacter a unique genus of bacterium with the ability to cause several ailments. Acinetobacter species are an important group of bacteria that can be found in a variety of habitats. Culturing Acinetobacter on blood agar or McConkie agar can give us an idea of their characteristics. These bacteria appear as smooth, convex colonies with a creamy or pale yellow color. This knowledge enables us to better understand Acinetobacter and the significance of their presence in our environment. Acinetobacter bacteria are gram-negative cocobacilli with several important biochemical characteristics. They are oxidase-negative, meaning they do not produce the enzyme that catalyzes the conversion of oxygen into water, and they are non-lactose fermenters, meaning they do not produce gas from glucose fermentation. Additionally, they are catalase-positive, meaning they do produce the enzyme catalase which breaks down hydrogen peroxide. Acinetobacter is a gram-negative bacteria that has a wide range of hosts. It is most commonly found in hospital settings, especially in intensive care units, and can cause hospital-acquired infections. It is important to be aware of the presence of Acinetobacter and take the necessary precautions to prevent its spread. Acinetobacter is a gram-negative bacterium known for its ability to cause infections in humans. It is able to cause disease by using several different virulence factors. These include producing outer membrane proteins, forming a capsule around itself, and adhering to and invading host cells. All of these factors make it particularly difficult to treat and can lead to severe illnesses. Acinetobacter is a bacteria species that can develop antibiotic resistance through various mechanisms. These include the production of enzymes and efflux pumps, as well as modifications to their cell membrane that make them impervious to certain antibiotics. As a result, Acinetobacter is often resistant to the antibiotics that are used to treat infections caused by it. Acinetobacter infections pose a potential threat to vulnerable populations, especially those in healthcare settings. It is typically spread through contact with contaminated surfaces or devices, such as ventilators and dialysis machines, and can cause serious infection in those with weakened immune systems. To reduce the risk of Acinetobacter infections, it is important to maintain strict hygiene and disinfection protocols in medical facilities. Proper handwashing and cleaning of contaminated surfaces and equipment is essential in keeping these infections at bay. Acinetobacter is a bacteria which can cause a range of infections, including those in the lungs, blood, urinary tract, and wounds. It has the capability to invade the host tissue and resist the immune system, complicating its treatment. 
Pathogenesis is the scientific investigation of the biological mechanisms that can result in diseases. Through increased comprehension of pathogenesis, it is possible to pinpoint potential cures. Our immune system relies on neutrophils, macrophages, and cytokines to clear acinetobacter infections, yet the bacterium has the ability to evade our immune defenses, rendering it highly pathogenic. To better comprehend acinetobacter's successful evasion of our defenses, thus making the infection exceedingly complex, it is important to comprehend the mechanisms by which it operates. In order to diagnose an acinetobacter infection in humans, it is necessary to isolate and identify the bacterium from clinical samples. Molecular techniques such as PCR can be used to aid in rapid identification by culturing the bacteria on the appropriate media and performing biochemical tests. Acinetobacter is a type of bacteria that can cause infection in humans and other animals. Good infection control measures in healthcare settings, such as hand hygiene and disinfection of surfaces, should be practiced to reduce the risk of infection. Adhering to appropriate isolation protocols for patients and healthcare workers who are infected or colonized with the bacteria is also essential. Treatment of acinetobacter infections can be tricky as the bacteria are known to be resistant to most antibiotics. Therefore, it is important to decide on the most efficient antibiotic based on susceptibility testing results. In particularly severe cases, a combination of antibiotics may be the better option. Acinetobacter is a genus of gram-negative bacteria that can cause opportunistic infections, particularly in healthcare settings. Known for their virulence factors and antibiotic resistance, prevention of acinetobacter infections requires strict adherence to proper infection control measures. Treatment of these infections typically involves a combination of antibiotics. Thank you all for your time and attention.